Resident Evil 4 has a lot of bonuses that you guys can use in your playthroughs. And today we're going to be going over the charms specifically to see exactly what each one does and kind of how they work. I know there's some sort of confusion with the charms to see exactly if whether or not their bonus effects with one another can actually stack on top of one another. And we're going to be going over that to show you exactly kind of how it goes. So to start off here, we have the two DLC uh, charms going off here. They're both rares. One's a handgun ammo, which does give you 30% handgun ammo craft bonus frequency. And the other one, is the green herb which is giving you an extra plus 15 percent health recovery for green herbs very good early on not so much really good late game i mean unless you plan on using the handgun ammo one to kind of work with your minimalist runs if you don't have cat ears so you can kind of use this one but uh other than that you can easily replace this green herb one later on down the line now we've got don jose who over here who also does another 15 percent handgun ammo craft bonus frequency so just to kind of briefly just tell you exactly how this works. I've got two Don Jose's. So if I'm trying to equip one, I got a second one. Okay, so why don't I try to slap it on? So the first one is immediately removed and the second one is placed exactly where I wanted it. Duplicates do not work. There's no way you're gonna be able to do something like, oh, I don't know, striker charm over here and think you're gonna slap three on all at the same time and get 24% uh, running speed. That's definitely not gonna happen. That would immediately break the game. There's nothing that's ever gonna catch you. That is just ridiculous. However, what you can do is so long as they're basically not the same one, but they do have the same bonus that you can use, the same perks, you can do something like this to where there is the handgun ammo, there's Don Jose, and I believe JJ does the same thing as well. I'm sorry, soldier with hammer. So just off, those alone we're looking at 65 percent bonus frequency to craft bonus handgun ammo and there you go i would definitely be using this on my minimalist runs if i don't have cat ears you're constantly just making bonus ammo or at least a highly likeliness to craft bonus not really it's kind of, it's still kind of rng so depends on how you want to play it but let's go back to the list here so we got don esteban who is 15 percent shotgun shell crap bonus frequency zealot with scythe submachine gun 20 percent submachine gun ammo crap bonus frequency then we got don diego with plus 15 percent rifle ammo crap bonus frequency dr salvador which is another rifle ammo crap bonus frequency uh don manuel is submachine gun 15% Zealot with Shield is 20% Shotgun. Zealot Sister is 20% Magnum. Soldier with Hammer, we went over that. Zealot with Bowgun, 20% Bolts. Uh, Soldier with Dynamite, 30% Attachable Mines, Bonus Craft. Leader Zealot, plus 10% Health Recovery for Green Herbs. So him in the Green Herb one. Soldier with Stun Rod, 15% Bonus Craft. Isabel, 30% Health Recovery for Vipers. Don Pedro is 40% Health Recovery for Vipers. So those two pair very well together. And Maria, 15% Magnum Ammo Bonus Craft Frequency. There are a total of 16 commons, eight rare charms, four epics, and two legendaries. We're not gonna count the two rares DLC ones that you get at the very beginning of the game. Next up, chicken, 100% health recovery for all egg types. Black bass, same thing, but for black bass. JJ, which is 40% off resources that you buy from the merchant, uh, the small and the largest. Uh, Leon with rocket launcher, 20% off rocket launchers. Leon with handgun, which is 30% off knife repairs. Ada, 30% off armor repairs. Leon with shotgun, 40% ammo resale value. And Luis, which is 20% weapon resale value. Here's one of my personal favorites, which is Ashley, who is 50% health recovery rate for just green herbs. And it's only the green herbs alone, not green herb mixtures. Merchant, 5% off weapon upgrades. Rhinoceros beetle, if you're looking to sell all your health items like black bass first aid sprays green red yellow combinations however i would only do that on professional uh, here's another one of my personal favorites which is illuminados emblem which is 20 percent melee critical hit rate that works on everything melee related so two shots in the head somebody gets staggered run up kick them if they're still alive you know just stab them a couple times with a knife maybe once or twice you land a crit probably once and that's pretty much ggs uh cute bear minus one gunpowder uh when crafting so shotgun takes like 12 it goes down to 11 sniper 10 to 9 etc etc you know how that goes the last favorite of mine which is striker charm supposed to be a callback to the dip man glitch back in the original re4 so uh they turned it into a charm plus eight percent running speed with acquiring these though depending how many points that you put into acquire your charms say you're putting three silvers in there so there is a table for you putting in three silver coins you're gonna get item a b c d e f 
to whatever. And then once you reach that amount, it, I think it's about five or six in that table. Once you reach the last one, it resets back to the top. Typically, if you're going to try to aim for as many as you possibly can with the limited amount of coins that you may have, whether the silver or gold, you want to save it first, trying to see what your drop table is looking like. So do, you know, three silvers five times, see what you get. You don't like it, switch it up. Two silvers, one gold, see what you get out of, out of those two or five or however many you got. Don't like it, load it back up. One silver, two gold, et cetera, et cetera. Just keep switching switching up the combination try to see what you get which one's gonna net you the most value gonna be a lot of saving and loading that's all gonna remain the same until you jump into a new game plus so once you kind of have gotten everything that you basically wanted just start stockpiling for the next new game that's the only way you're gonna get the rest of the charms in the game so it's gonna take a couple more playthroughs maybe two or three in total for you to get all 30 32 if you have the dlc but that's basically how that works if you guys like this make sure to drop a like please consider subscribing i just want to clear some of the questions that i've i know i've seen about the charms and kind of how they work or which one does this which one does that so i figured i'd make something like this just a small quick little video just to help you guys out and yeah hopefully you guys liked it hopefully you got something out of it and hopefully we we'll catch you on the next video all right peace out guys